Hey love and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Pauline and on this channel I talk about all things locks, beauty, and wellness, but mostly locks. So if you have locks or you're thinking about locks, this is the channel for you. So please consider subscribing to my channel for more, more, more information. Okay. All right. So today we're going to jump right into it. And on this video, I am talking about five different things that will cause your starter locks to be expensive. So if you're considering about, if you're considering getting locks, you've been thinking about it for a minute, here are the things that will drive up your costs. Okay. So the first thing that will drive up your costs when you're thinking about getting locks, especially sister locks or micro locks, um, is the length of your hair. So depending on how long your hair is. will not do past a certain inches of hair. Some people will only do six inches or less. Some people will only do 12 inches or less. So it all depends on a loctician. Make sure you do your research. Most of the time when you reach out to them, they're telling you what their expectations are and what their limitations are. So you will know in advance. But if you have a lot of locks, do expect to be paying more just for your length. The second thing that will drive up your cost, and this, I, <laughs> this is kind of funny to me, but what's the way best way I can put this? It's the size of your head. So if you have large scalp, big head, that is going to drive up the cost. Okay. So I know some, um, lacticians, when you come to get a consultation, baby, some of them will pull out their measuring tape. <laughs> I don't do this, but I hear some people do it. But they pull out their measuring tape and they measure the circumference of your head. And that, you know, some of them, you know, they have a scale based on the certain circumference of your head. If you pass a certain amount it, or a certain number or whatever, it is going to increase your retightening cost. <laughs> Not your retightening cost, but it's going to increase your install cost. So if you have a large scalp or a big head, do expect to be paying more for an install. Now, for me, I personally don't measure uh, people's head because at the end of the day, you can look at somebody's head and tell whether they have a big head or not. I don't need to pull out a measuring tape and make them feel a certain way about their head when we both know, okay, just looking at it, we both know you got a head on you, all right? So just be prepared. <laughs> okay, the third thing that will drive up your cost is the density of your hair. Most people will charge you for high, charge extra for high density. That means the density is basically the amount of hair you have per square inch. So people who have a lot of hair in a small little area, you have a lot of density. You have a lot, you have a high density. You have a lot of hair. So some people will charge more for that. Now, some people will also charge more for low density. Meaning if you, your hair is very sparse, um, you don't have a lot of hair per square inch. Um, some people will charge extra for it because believe it or not, the fewer hair you have, the skinnier your locks will be and the longer it will take to create that lock. So just when you start locking and trying to get down to the scalp, it takes a little bit longer because you have fine, low density hair. So it might, you might feel like, well, it's not a lot of hair. It's, so why is it extra? Well, fine hair, you already don't have a lot of volume or mass. And then you have 
low density, so it's not a lot of hair in the area to form the lock. So to create it, it's just going to take some time to get to the scalp. So some people do charge extra for that. So based on your density, some people will charge extra for that and that will drive up your cost for your install, especially, and this is mainly if you're getting sister locks, interlocks, interlocking is the technique. Sister lock is the brand. So if you're getting micro locks, things like that, it will cost, okay? The fourth thing that will cause your um that will cause your install to be expensive is the is the locking method used to lock your hair. So if you're getting interlocks, which is the locking method, that is time consuming. If you're getting crochet locks where they take the tool and crochet the hair to lock it, that is time consuming. Um and some people just charge extra for just using that tool because that tool is kind of dangerous to use. There are some people who've had that tool slip and get into um, a puncture through their uh, finger and it goes all inside their skin and puncture through. So to use that tool, if someone got to pick up that tool to do it, some people just charge extra automatically to do that service because it's, it's riskier um, and it's more it's dangerous <laughs> in some ways. So yeah. Um, the other methods like two strand twists, coils, um, those aren't that time consuming. It's time consuming depending on the size you're getting, but for the most part, coils, two strand twists, that's not expensive to start. Um, it can be depending on the size and the length of your hair, but it's not really that expensive. But if you're interlocking and doing things like crochet, it's going to take you, it's going to take more time to install, so that will cost more money. The fifth and the last thing that you wanna consider that will drive up the cost of your install is if you're adding extensions to your hair. So if they gotta lock your hair and then add the extensions to your hair, it, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. It is going to cost you, because that's like two services in one. It's going to cost you some money. So those are the five things overall to consider when it comes to Getting an install, what it's going to cost. So if you want locks, honestly, when someone wants locks, they don't have a lot of money or don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Um, I tell people consider two strand twist locks, consider starting with coils. Um, and that's if you want small locks. If you want like micro locks, sister locks, but you can't, you know, afford sister locks or you just don't want to pay for that. Consider two strand twists, consider um, if you have short hair, consider coils. You can start using that, you can start with that method and still have the look that you want without paying that high ticket cost. And as far as the extensions, I know some people aren't patient to wait to get their hair a certain length, but y'all, I promise you, your hair grows like wildfire, okay, when you get locks. I have been locked 11 years. I started maybe about right here, right? My locks were right here, about six, seven inches when I started. So it was about right here. Five years later, my locks was the middle of my back. And then I cut it um, like a, a into a bob where it's like really short in the back and a little bit longer in the front, right? And then five years after that, it was back down my back. And I cut it into a pixie which was really short, shorter than this, cut it into a pixie a, a year ago and look where it's at now. Like, and it's crinkled. So it's, you know, so you can't see the full length, but the hair grows really fast. So if you can avoid getting extensions, do so and just be patient.
It is going to cost you, especially if you're doing them small. So a lot of it is, if you're doing them small, it's going to cost you. But if you do them, if you do your locks bigger, if you get bigger interlocks, bigger braid locks, um, all those things, if you get them bigger, it will be less. But the smaller you go, the more money it's going to cost. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'm happy to help. If you are looking to start your own locks and you want to do them yourself and save some money, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching where we will get on Zoom and I will literally walk you through the entire process of locking your hair and bada boom, bada bing, and you got locks, okay? So I am here for you. If you are a loctician needing additional um, help, mentorship, coaching, I help with that as well. So hit me up if you have any questions, put them in the um, comments. And the links to everything I just mentioned will be in the description. Okay. Thank y'all for watching and see y'all next time. Bye.